Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. I'm serious. All right, talk about what you're doing. <laughs> so, take your handy dandy plastic pry tool. There's a screw back here, and there's a screw right here. So you take your little pry tool, pop this in here. It should pop completely out. You got to watch this right here, and it slides down in the little things here. There's a Phillips screw right there. All right. So this one here, there's a little bitty spot on the end right here. If you look, if you can see it right here. On um, Hondas and stuff like that, they usually have it where you can put it in here and pull it, pop it right up. Of course, there's pry tools. There it goes. So you just pop it up. You can see them working it all the way around. So you watch this little right here, because it slides into here. So you have to slide it out, flip this over. That's two plug-ins. You have to take this little bit of white right here, push that little bit of tab in. I don't know if you can see it where you're at. Mm -hmm. There's a little tab right here you push in. And once you push that in, it'll come your uh, comes right up. And right here's the tab. Okay. Okay, and this is the same thing. A little gray one, push it down. And it slides right out. Okay. And you can set this to the side. Phillips has a little bitty uh, washer kind of type that where you can fit into the plastic. This one here is a lot longer one. Definitely don't want to get them mixed up. Then you take your uh, plastic pry tool, get around on the edge. I know it sounds bad, but it's not really that bad. It's just popping off. I always get made fun of saying I'm gonna break it. That stays with the car. You take it and you slide it right back into the hole. And then this comes right out. Now, and there's the back side. These are the, the little push ends. You want to make sure you put all those back in before you put the door panel back on. So, with this, it has one screw. It's like a bolt, basically. You see, it's pretty good tight on there. You gotta take your high and deep toy tool, try to slip it around this edge. Because it's edge here. Or to stab yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That'll That's work good. There it goes. It has some kind of like glue from factory. So you take it out, pull it out, and you slide it up. Then you have your little plug right here. You squeeze both of them together. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle it. Pops them done. And there's your speaker. Let's see the back side of that. There you go.
Here is the adapter piece that we're going to use. It's an 8244-01, and this is the speaker harness that we're going to use, which is a 727800 from Metra. We're gonna take this, you just take your plier and pull on it, and it will knock these down. I'll show you that. Yeah. Okay. So basically you just pull on it like this, and all these will fall out because you don't need them because this is made to do sixes, five and a quarters, I believe, probably more six, six and a half, and six and three quarters. You just pull them off, and then boom, now your speaker will fit right in there. It's about the size of So we have our adapter here. We're gonna line up the holes with this adapter piece, and then we have our speaker terminal piece connected for our wiring harness on the back of there with our plug, and then that plug's gonna plug into there. And then you line up these holes right here. And inside those holes, we are going to use these self-drilling, self-tappers, which are one and a half inch. You definitely want to get one inch or above because of the deepness of this. Speaker attached with the mounting piece right here. We did four self-tappers into here. It's in here super secure. Everything looks like it should from OEM. All right, Beavis is gonna go ahead and take these C pillars out, which he already has. So he went and just pulled those open and there's the clips on the back side. And right now he is trying to get this large tan piece out so that we can get to the rear speakers. It is definitely not easy. Oh, there he goes, he got it out. Gotta get the seat belt out, but he got that bad boy out pretty quick, man. He's, he's, a, he's a genius over here, just letting him let him do his thing. Then you gotta redirect the seat belt out through the hole. It's got a little crack in there for it. And then you can pull this whole big whole entire piece out of the back. Man, giving Beavis credit today. He's just knocking stuff out like crazy. Look at him go. It must be that ponytail, I bet. <laughs> Look at him dragging the top. What's up, Boris? <laughs> little, little note there, there's a plug there. You wanna unplug that. I almost got killed by this thing. So <laughs> unplug that first before you yank it out. And then here's your two speakers sitting in the back. Looks like two six and a halfs. We're gonna go ahead and remove those today. From the bottom, they're not the worst speaker I've ever seen, but they're definitely not the best. And then it has this long bolt that goes in it and then basically he's going to pull that out but this is what it looks like when it pulls out it has this long bolt that goes through here and then these two little legs that go over there so it just kind of slides in then locks down. There's your wonderful stock speakers. These are the speaker harnesses that we're gonna be using in this car today, 72, 7800 from Metra. And they're gonna plug into this harness right here. So that way you don't have to cut anything. All right, so we have this screw down. Sorry about the silver versus black. Um, we used our stingers into here. We usually use plastic ones, but all we have right now is the wood because of the availability. So we can get you some plastic half inch spacers. We'll put that link down below, or you can use the wood ones, but we prefer to use plastic. And then you'll take your speaker um, harness right here and you will plug it into your positive, your negative, and then plug this into the factory plug. It's pretty simple to do, but we want to show you what this will look like, and then we're going to mount it into the back of the uh, rear deck. Here's how we mounted the ring underneath. We went ahead and mounted here, here, and over here, and we just screwed the ring. Once we screwed this to this, we screwed it down underneath here to hold it down into the back deck. All right, we got the rear speakers in. 
The reason why we don't like using the wood is because it does that. It kind of cracks a little bit, so we'd rather use plastic. See how it did on this one too? This new MDF is just not as nice as it used to be, so I would definitely recommend using the plastic if you get the chance, but we just had to use with what we had for the day. Thank <laughs> you.